Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. Survey Preview is a feature that provides multiple ways to test your survey in an efficient and thorough manner. To get to the Survey Preview page, you must first go to your Survey Builder and click on the Preview button on the top right corner of your screen next to the Publish button. As you'd expect, you are shown a live interactive preview of your current survey. And if you have this mobile preview option enabled, you will see both a desktop and mobile view. This allows you to make sure that everything is working the way you want it to on any device. Note that if you complete and submit a response while in preview mode, data analysis will record it as a preview type response. While going through your survey, if you want to go back to the beginning of the preview, you can click on the restart survey button on the top left corner of your screen. The tools dropdown or preview banner provides us with useful options when going through the survey. For example, if we want to go through the survey without answering any questions, but we have forced response requirements on, we can enable ignore validation. Ignore validation allows you to bypass these conditions so you can test specific parts of your survey without worrying about meeting the validation requirements. Show hidden questions allows you to view questions that may be hidden to respondents, such as timing or meta info questions. View published version displays the current version of a survey that a respondent would see if they clicked on your link right now. Once you enable this option, the text will change to view draft. This allows you to see the version of the survey that is currently in your survey builder. If you'd like to preview the survey on a personal device, you can do so by clicking on the scan QR code option and scanning the QR code on your chosen device. Place bookmark lets you bookmark any part of the survey that you're currently on and allows you to skip to that part of the survey at any point. Please note that once you've clicked on place bookmark, the button text will change to go to bookmark. When you click share preview, you will be shown a permissions dropdown that allows you to decide if you'd like the following link to only be used within your own organization or available to everyone. If you choose brand internal only, users who click on your preview link will be prompted to log into their Qualtrics account to view the survey. If you choose public, anyone with the link will be able to view the preview. Regardless of which permission you choose, to ensure that your link settings save, make sure you've selected your desired permission, then click save, then click share preview again, and now you can copy and distribute your preview link. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to use the survey preview with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the two minutes of category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.